Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, one direction keyring or one similar to it. Um, all it is is from the bottle caps. This is from a bought bottle cap. Uh, I haven't uh, recycled this one and just added a one direction piece of ribbon. Um, that is a a bought bottle cap just 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 spray different colors these are readily available off eBay as with the stickers you can either get them already pre-cut or if you've got a one inch punch uh, then you can cut them yourself and so they're just a little bit cheaper if you buy them that way uh, the ribbon you can also get that um, off eBay I managed to get lots of ribbon I love one D got various um, ribbons it's all off ebay so it's all quite easily sourced um so basically what you do you first you make a hole i don't know whether you can see you just make a hole for your split ring now that is a little bit difficult for me to show you how to put on because it can be awkward um so you make you make your hole either with a pokey tool or a special pair of pliers that you can buy so basically, all you're going to do is get some glue. Um, what glue shall we use? Use this glue. Get some glue. Get something to spread the glue with. I'll use a bit of kitchen towel here. So we'll just put some glue on that. Make sure the edges are nicely glued down. Glue's gone a little bit hard. I normally use PVA glue, that seems okay, that seems fine. But so when you come to stick a hole in it, I would do it first and I would also do it from the back. That way it's just easier. So just put it in through the back. So now you've put, you, you've put your split ring in, it's best to try and get it central. So you've got your split ring there. You've made another hole down there for a charm. Turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. So get it nice and central, like so, and stick it down. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's about right. Like so. Just stick it in. Make sure it's all nice and flat round the sides and now you want a resin dome or you can actually use diamond glaze or what I've been using is um, this sorry this is glossy accents glossy accents or diamond glaze but what, because this is just a simple um, demo, I have got somewhere that's hiding a dome, a resin dome. Right, okay. Oh, it's here. It's here. So these are just already pre-cut uh, resin domes. So what you do, keep, try and keep it on the back there. Stop you smudging it with your fingers, getting sticky fingerprints on it. You want to try and get this as centre, central, as you can. Like that. So stick it up, rub it down. And there you've got the makings of your first part of the key ring. So that's that. I 
all of 1D. All of one direction. Right, so you can either just attach your ribbon if you just wanted to keep it plain. You know, you just attach your ribbon like that. Or just simply add a split ring for your key. And then that would be one very basic key ring. But to jazz it up a bit, I'm going to add a ribbon. Now I'm not going to use the one direction ribbon, I'm going to use purple themed. So I've cut some ribbon, um, about 11 centimetres, 11 centimetres of ribbon and I've made up a little charm and all that is is two bead caps on a head pin and a little tulip um, little flower bead there and just three pieces of purple chain which makes it look quite pretty like that so what we'll do we'll get that get your jump ring but you, you can put that on afterwards because you can just um, feed it through so now you want some E6000 glue to add your ribbon crimp like that. Don't need a lot of this. So let me do it with this. Right, so you just need a tiny bit of this. Just put a bit on there just to glue this together like that squeeze it together and then you try and not get covered in glue like I do so all you need is a tiny bit more glue and put a little bit of glue inside your ribbon crimp like so. Don't need a lot because this is quite good glue. So try and keep these as neat as you can together like that because that, um, that makes the difference between a neat finished job and one that just looks like you've thrown it together. I'm just going to get my tweezers here. So I'm going to try and keep all this together and keep it straight. Like that. So now we want a pair of pliers to try and try to keep this nice and straight here. So I'm just going to feed that through like that. Just like that. Sometimes you can squeeze these clothes with your fingers just to get you know, these a bit more tighter than usual. Normally you can just squeeze them close with your with your fingers. So now I'm just going to try and squeeze these clothes but without distorting this crimp like that. So, I'm going to try. The aim is to keep this nice and clear of glue, and for it to be nice and straight. Right. So, you can peel that off later when it's uh, when it's dry a little bit because we've, we've got a smudging of glue here. But it all comes off. You can pick it off when you've done. So we've got it to that stage. Right, so now what we want is to add uh, a little uh, dangly there. Right, so what we'll do that we'll you'll need a jump ring. One of these jump rings. 
I suggest not a too big a one, just let's have a look. Mixture. Don't do what I do and open these up and then turn it over. Uh, about that size. That size would be fine. So we'll get another pair of pliers. And just open these up like so. Like that. Well, I touch it to there. You might have to open this just slightly wider just to get it through the bottle cap. And then we'll feed it through the hole. And there you can see. We'll feed it through the hole. And then we'll close the jump ring like that. I always make sure I bring my uh, my light down here and my magnifying glass that you probably it will go dark to make sure that I've closed these um, just to make sure um, because you don't want it actually coming apart do we right so that's that so now we want to add that this part of the uh, the ribbon crimp to this split link, which is sometimes easier said than done. Just slip it on like that. There we go. And then you've got a simple. Hang on a minute, and it's not right here. That's it. Let's feed this split ring through. Whoops. Well, that was going too well, wasn't it? So I'm going to feed that through back. It's just come out of there, you see, because it was wet. Normally, I'd leave all these to dry before attaching them. I'm going to see if I can feed that back through there. So that's better now that I've straightened that ribbon uh, crimp up. I couldn't have left it like that all skew if. So if you squeeze these down hard enough, it shouldn't do that. Uh, so there's that one. I love this uh, coloured chain. I mean, that's uh, readily available off eBay too. And here's just a few more that I've been doing. These are my one direction ones. I haven't sold these yet, so uh, I'll let you know how they go. There's Harry there. Um, I put um, for that one. Oh no, it's for a different one. I'll just put a pink bead on the end of that. But so there's that one, and um, that one I just added his initials. And I've got other members of the boys um, from the group, so I'll do the same. Just add that the initial there. And add a couple of hearts. So. You can personalise these little key rings as much as you like. I'll show you one that I'm going to do my uh, my son with a cheeky birthday card that he sent me. So there you go. I use the mother of pearl bead there on that one. So you know they're as fancy as you want to make them. You can also, before I show you what I'm going to do next, you can add. Uh, some kumihime. So if you like doing your kumihime, you can add um, some of that to it. These kumihime ends again off eBay. So that's that. So like I said, what I was going to do, my son sent me this birthday card. It was it something my birthday in October? But he sent me that. So guess what he's getting back in a key ring. <laughs> he's going to get a one inch punch round that bum and round that bum. And I'm going to write on the back of it, cheeky. So he's going to get that back. <laughs> anyway, thanks. I'll leave you with that cheeky thought then. Okay, bye for now.